Every year, around 2.8 million Americans die. In this video, we will take a look at the causes behind these deaths and visualize what differences we can see between the states. In the midst of the coronavirus outbreak, it is important to step back and look at a normal year for the health of the American people. In this visualization, 2,500 deaths will be visualized by one single red marker. So to show all 2.8 million deaths yearly, we need around 1,100 markers. We can divide these into age groups. The younger age cohorts only get a few markers, since most people live long and healthy lives and die in old age. The largest group is the 75 years and older, and it is the first one we will take a closer look at. 55% of all deaths occur in this group, over 1.5 million people. More than a third of these, half a million people, die from heart diseases, marked in blue. Here we include a multitude of conditions, including ischemic heart disease, cerebrovascular diseases and other cardiovascular conditions. Cancer is the second biggest killer in this age group, with 17% of the deaths, or 250,000 people, marked in yellow. Cancer to the lungs, trachea and bronchi is the largest subcategory here. Accidents, marked in pink, account for 2.7% of the deaths, mainly from falls. Respiratory diseases in black for 6.3%. Alzheimer's disease in green for 3% and diabetes in white for 2.5%. Moving on to the slightly younger age group of 65 to 74 year olds, we find similar diseases at the top, even though cancer has a higher share here at close to 32%. Heart disease slightly less likely at 28%. In the broader group of 45 to 64 year olds, heart disease and cancer remain at the top, but here we start to see accidents make up a larger share at close to 9%. Here, motor vehicle accidents and accidental poisoning make up most of the deaths. In this group, suicide start to account for a share of the deaths at 3.1%. Violence, homicide stands at 0.7%, or 3,800 cases. In the in terms of population largest of our age groups, 15 to 44 year olds, 172,000 deaths occurred, significantly less than in the older cohorts. Here, heart disease and cancer become less likely at around 10% each. Instead, accidents make up the lion's share of all deaths at 36%. Once again, traffic accidents and poisonings are the main causes. The 1 to 14 year old group is luckily the smallest, but still contains close to 10,000 cases yearly. Accidents make up around 30%, while self-harm and violence each account for 6%. In the youngest group, children not surviving their first year of life, close to all cases are due to neonatal diseases and conditions, while a smaller share are made up of accidents and violence. Putting all the age groups back together, we can see that heart disease and cancer make up around the same share, and together they account for close to half of all the deaths. If we go back to all deaths marked in red, we can place them on a map and see that most deaths occur in California, Florida and Texas. Of course, this is expected, since these are the most populated states. Here we can see a map of the population distribution of the United States. If you want to see a full video on the population growth of the United States since its inception, you can find the link to my video on the US Census data in the top right corner. Instead, we will now take a look at death rates. 
the number of deaths for every 100,000 inhabitants. But since the age structures of the states vary, from the older states up in the northeast of Maine and New Hampshire to the younger states in Utah and Alaska, we will also adjust the numbers based on age composition so that it is not a factor when comparing the states. First, let's take a look at cancer. Every block here visualizes the number of deaths yearly for every 2,500 inhabitants. Puerto Rico has the lowest rate here, while Kentucky has the highest. We will mark the states by color according to their rate. Green marks the lower rates, followed by yellow and pink for the states ranking higher. Filling in all the states, we can see that the rates are the lowest in the southwest and in the three states or territories not part of the contiguous United States, Alaska, Hawaii and Puerto Rico. But overall, the rates are pretty similar across the nation. If we instead look at heart disease, we see a pattern where the most affected states are all in the south, marked in red. Now let's take a look at much less common causes of death. And to do that, we need to change the values. Here, we visualize the number of deaths for every 25,000 inhabitants. And we start with motor vehicle accidents. Here, the Northeast, together with the Rust Belt and the Pacific states, are the safest, while once again the southern states are the worst off, with Mississippi having the highest death rate in the country. When it comes to suicide, the northern states are heavily affected, mainly in the western half of the nation. No clear theory can explain this distribution on its own, but on top of socioeconomics, access to firearms and isolation can be contributing factors. The top-ranking states are among the least densely populated. The white and the native population have higher rates of suicide than the population as a whole, and the rates are across the board much higher for men than for women. The levels of death as a result of violence are lower across the map, but the highest peaks are located in Louisiana, District of Columbia and especially in Puerto Rico. In this visualization, some states have too few cases to be statistically significant. The black population have a much higher rate than other races, especially black men. Overall, the United States is a vast nation, and on state level, you find different approaches and opportunities to handle ongoing health issues. During the last few years, the life expectancy has leveled out and even gone down after decades of steady rise, mainly attributed to an increase in drug overdoses, namely from opioids. How the coronavirus pandemic will influence the numbers, we will have to wait for some time to evaluate. Thank you for watching this video on the health and population of the United States. I try to make videos on similar topics every month. If you're interested, feel free to subscribe. Please comment down below if you think I missed some important aspect of this topic. You can find sources in the description below. For now, you can watch another of the videos featured on the screen.